Welcome to Dr. Jester Runs, and I'm gonna rant about this from Movie Web. Heart of Stone star Gal Gadot rallies against Hollywood's obsession for gender swapping male characters. Technically, not only uh, gender swapping, but also race swapping. They have a weird obsession about it. I even think, I even think that they have absolutely no respect, not only for women, but the people they race swap too, because they think they are virtue signaling, that they are doing something amazing, and that they are giving, uh, think of it like this, that a rich person, snobby rich person comes in and, oh, guys, oh my god, he's so poor, come on, here, have one dollar, be happy about it, <laughs> they are doing exactly like that, it's called scrap rolls, or thing, or, yeah, scrap rolls, I think that's, th that's it, race swapping, gender swapping, because they have no respect, they cannot think for themselves, they cannot, for instance, Instead of actually doing a goddamn fucking show uh, that happens in Africa in the medieval times, probably not many will watch it because people are actually tired of the woke, uh, not woke shit, but uh, of the message, and people will instantly assume that it is full of the message. But anyway, let, uh, instead of actually doing a medieval show that happens in Africa, in the middle of sub-Saharan Africa, with uh, people dressed exactly like they did back then in the with the jungles and the civilizations back in that region no no instead they actually go on and focus on europe they go on and get uh let's say somewhere in the year 700 800 england and what they do they shove in black people in there. In a time period in which neither region was aware of each other. As in, there were no black people in that period. In Europe, there were no white people also in Sub-Saharan Africa. Yeah. Instead, instead of just doing something productive and creating a new show where they can actually do that, no. No, they race swap. Or they are so retarded they go on and well they gender swap. Like what happened with the with that Viking king that I actually completely forgot his name. It's on Vikings Valhalla. Let's see if I can actually find it. Val Ah, there you go. Hakon Herickson. Not Herickson, Ericsson. Hmm. Reminds me of Sony Ericsson. Ah, I miss those phones. Anyway, Hakun, Hakun Ericsson. They actually not only gender swapped, but they race swapped it. That goes to show they have absolutely zero, zero, zero self respect on anything. But anyway, let's go on. Kagado is an all females. Is all, is all for females taking the lead in action movies, but it's not just a gender swap of a male character, yeah. Be something innovative, new. When I know something that was actually good, that I thought it was good, and that you could actually use it as a... as a franchise, like uh, James Bond and something like that. Well, yeah, Atomic Blonde. Atomic Blonde is a 2017 American action thriller movie. I actually loved this movie. It happened during the Berlin Wall collapse in 1989. It was a good movie. She wasn't absolutely strong because she was a female. And uh, she used her own skills for survival. It was against the KGB, it was a very good movie. I think it's something like this that people should focus on. They should make something like this if they want action heroes who are females. But nah, nah, let's race swap and gender swap James Bond. 
That's actually easier, isn't it? Yay! I'll go suck a cock. Gal Gadot has already played some tough female characters on screen, and in Heart of Stone, she is adding another action heroine to her roster of impressive roles. Her role of intelligence operative, Rachel Stone, is one that is already being compared to being the female James Bond. But while there may be similarities between the two, Gadot is not on board with the Hollywood trend of taking a male role and gender swapping it. I agree. Since they are doing Heart of Stone, I think it's something that should become a franchise because it's something different and new. And it's not gender swapping, it's not race swapping. Be this is how you should do it. Anyway, continuing. For that reason, she wanted to make sure that Rachel Stone was a character built on her own DNA. Speaking with the total film ahead of the action release, Gadot addressed the way Hollywood is constantly taking male movie characters and gender swapping them without thinking about how the characters should be different beyond just their gender. She said, of Heart of Stone. Let's see what she said. I wanted to show a great story about a female character who is doing it in the action genre, right? She's striving, but at the same time, how many times have they just switched gender? They take a story that all about men, and they just change it to a woman, and then go shoot it? To me, it was so important in the DNA to make Heart of Stone a little different. Because men and women are different. Oh shit! Cancelled! 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 She's cancelled. She said men and women are different. But don't you know in the new new science, in the new science that says men and women are equal and that men are, uh, well, women are as strong as men? Yeah, it's the new science. If you do not subscribe to it, you're gonna get cancelled. Well, anyway, let's move on before I... Yeah. They are built differently. They operate different. Oh, Jesus Christ. Oh, Jesus Christ. This is blasphemous against the new science and the new religion at the cult that is ruling the left today. Fuck. This is bad. Well, anyway, before I continue, um, I'm going to go and, I don't know, mull over? No. What's the word that I'm looking for? Uh, mourn the cancellation of Gal Gadot for saying those things. Meanwhile, you go and watch a trailer for my book. I'm back. I finished mourning for uh, no, no, no. I haven't finished mourning. I think I need to mourn some more because oh god damn it! Right, back. I finished mourning. No, no, no. I still. All right. It's the glasses. I still need to get used to them. Yeah, no. Anyway, 
Having spent many years as a Wonder Woman, it is not surprising that the actress feels passionate about bringing strong female characters to life on screen in their right. With so many movies taking what it's seen by many as a lazy option to piggybacking the success of male-led franchises, but replacing the lead of leads as a female gadot perspective is one of Hollywood should try to listen to. I agree, they should listen to her. She knows this. Do not replace. People will look at the character and just feel wrong. Right, let's see. Despite her comments, Gado is the first to admit that it was a growing up with the likes of James Bond. Jane, Jason Bourne and Ethan Hunt that made her want to make Heart of Stone. Exactly. Give, give us something akin to those characters. It's good, like Atomic Blonde. Now we have Heart of Stone. Hopefully this is a success and we can get a sequel and a series as long as it's not woke. It would be good. We need something like that. We are tired. Tired of race swaps, gender swaps. And all of that to appease the new religion. Well, anyway. However, she didn't want to see one of their stories being repeated. Instead, wanted to turn into a female perspective of a male-dominated franchise. Use your own strengths. Be seductive. You don't have physical strength. You don't have the speed or the agility of a male. So, use that. And it will be actually very weird if I saw... Jane Bond! No, or uh, Shaniqua Bond! And trying to pull off the same moves as James Bond. I am double o 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 seven. Right. And throwing, in throwing herself into the role, Gadot was more than happy to take on as many action sequences as she was allowed to. One thing that Heart of Stone tries to do is make sure that the big stunts were also grounded in the sense that there was a science behind the possibility of them being actually achieved by someone and not completely unbelievable. And I hope it's also... <coughs> It is achievable to a woman. Anyway, in one scene on the top of an exploding blimp, Agado said the scene was even crazier at a higher altitude, and we got into the science of it and dialed it down so that a human could do it. That was something I wanted to really make sure we nailed. Thank you! Another thing that really riles me up is when the science behind a movie is just kind of iffy. Here, let me put it this way. I'm watching Manifest, and the last few episodes... And suddenly they changed the planes and the inside of the planes a little. And now the aisles are way too big. And every time I see it, it kind of takes an immersion out of me. A seven uh, <coughs> seventy-seven aisle, it's not that wide. Another thing that ir irks me. They showed the, the visual image of a 737-200 physically. But the 3D model of the intro, where the airplane goes like this, onto the word manifest, is a, is a 300 model, but the logo on the manifest itself shows the old GT8D engines of the 200. Okay, never mind, I'm digressing. Right, where was I? Make sure we nailed it. That could be done by people. What, what I can do as an actor, I'll go for it and fight with intention and really perform that. The crazy, crazy stuff, I can't. They won't let me. Hmm. Well, apparently Heart of Stone will be released on Netflix on August 11. Hopefully, hopefully this gets a sequel and it is not woke and that we can actually enjoy an actual James Bond version of a woman that is actually not a gender swapped. Well, on that goddamn fucking hell. Oh, yeah, wait. No, I just realized something. It's Netflix. It's going to go woke. And it's going to get ruined. Looking at you, last uh, the Last Kingdom in the seasons in which Netflix has a big fat finger on it. Yeah, especially the last one. Mm. The Benedict. Mm. Well, anyway, on that goddamn fucking hell, have a great fucking night.